believe, you gotta believe, you gotta receive it. You can't fight it. The world got you all tricked up. That's why the school does what it does. Because it's not about us. It's about the people. So they can get free too. So they can feed their families. So they can take care of themselves and not depend on 300, 400, 500 dollars from the government and food stamps. I dare you to believe him. He can do it. I dare you to believe him. He will do it. I dare you to believe him. Because he saved a wretch like me. No, no, I stole these the drugs. Verses 1 through 6. Hallelujah. It's our apostle. Chief. Apostle John. looking at the people and I was 
said to my father, I said, Father, what's wrong? What's wrong? I don't understand, but I want to get it. What's wrong? And he said to me, finish the mission. the mission of when we started out going to school. We didn't finish the mission while we started working in the first place. We didn't finish the mission to why we had children. We didn't finish the mission, my God, to why we was in the relationship. But I ask you the question today, what was your mission? What was your mission? When you decided to have the children, what was your mission? When you went to that workplace, what was your mission? Because your mission will determine your condition. A lot of you don't really know what's your mission. Let the cricket say. You're going through life without a mission. And ultimately, you end up in bad condition and a slip in transmission. How about that? Just like a car, you trying to go forward, but it's slipping. How many of you right now feel as though something is slipping in your life? You know you were supposed to be further than where you're at. But see, the problem is even a car stops when the transmission goes. You just keep slipping like you're getting somewhere. You know it ain't working, but you still keep trying to act like it's going all right. You put on the good old Halloween mask that everything's okay, but it's not. And even if, even if it looks on the outside like it's okay, the movement shows something different. There's some people that run around like ants, but only ants have a mission when they go out. Unlike ants, you go out and you keep walking on the same place, marching, but you're not getting anywhere. Some of you have been serving the Lord for a long time, but still never got to sit at the table. Uh oh, talking to somebody. My father is telling you today, whatever he has called you to, whatever he has put in your hand, whatever he said you were supposed to be, he said, now finish the mission. Bring me the honor, and you say, you can see your majesty. See, until you can bring the honor by finishing the mission, you will never know the majesty. Uh-oh, I'm talking to somebody. What is the majesty? It's dominion. Goodness, power. My God, and abundance. See, where are you at right now? For real, for real. Why couldn't you finish the mission? See, why? Because you didn't believe it. You didn't believe. You had too much ism and schism instead of going fast forward. In Hebrews 11, 1, it says, now faith is the substance. But the first word is now. See, you want to do it later. He said, I want you to do it now. He said, you want to figure it out. He said, no, figure it out. Just move now. See, when you're in the army, we used to say something. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. No, you're not, because a soldier takes orders and moves on in the now. You can't never be a soldier in God until you get moved. When he say move, without question, thinking about it, sometimes y'all got caught up on the religiousness. Well, I want to pray on it. God didn't say pray on it when he told Moses to do what he needed to do. He didn't. I got to pray on it when he told them to move. The burning bush didn't stop and say, well, let me pray on it before I burn. 
Well, we've been hypnotized and traumatized, churchitized. Uh oh. They done taught you all the church antics that got you and still getting you nowhere. And now your jaws is tight because you don't have no might. And all you want to do is fight. See, see, you won't go along with Father says when he's saying. Why is it got to fit into your, tra your, your, your translation before you can do it? Here. I, I might need security today. Okay, man. Listen. What are you waiting for? Some man to tell you what's so? up? Why is it that we can believe the world but we can't believe what comes out of the house of God no matter how many times they come to you? You know that prophet that said that to you but you still don't believe it. But you believe what the world says. You go get all you listen. You say, 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 I don't believe it. Repeat, say, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Now ask me why I said that. Because you didn't believe the lie that they were showing you through COVID or unemployment. You didn't believe the lie of the stimuli. You, you didn't believe the lie that, that the stimuli was a lie. This time last year, y'all was happy. Ooh, you getting that stimuli check? You got the 65, 75. I remember going around, I seen people running around with the 40 inches of hair. Oh, Lord, not the hair. Peruvian. Down the head, dragging the ground. Yep. Like cousin it. I saw the transformation. Good girls gone wild. The hair went down, the skirt went up. <laughs> and they was ready to fly. They were showing up in South Beach. They were showing up in LA. They were showing up in Hawaii. Good girls gone wild. I mean, before they had the long skirt and the hair was up and they went reverse. The hair went down, the skirt went up, and they was in her body. Wow. Because they believed the lie of the stimuli. They believed what the world was telling them. They believed it was okay to sit home and get a check. Now don't get me wrong. Sometimes you gotta get still to get going. But anything that will cause you to just sit still and not do nothing, don't work, or anything is of the devil. And when you believe the lie, the lie of the world, it's a matter of time before they pull the plug. Right now we're living in a time where they have pulled the plug. Unemployment just cut off. Food stamps just cut back. And no stimuli. And you done told every good paying job, what's the use of me doing that when I'm getting this money here and I can spend time with my children at home. I can spend time at home with my book. Now you made the health, uh, the health uh, uh, department, you made the health authorities, the hospitals, the doctors rich. Say why? Because you believe the lie of the stimuli. And since you believe the lie of the stimuli, mm, you look like you ate the fry. All of a sudden you was like this, now you're like, <laughs> but don't worry my father's going to finish the mission of COVID because he's going to cut off the food stamps 
He done cut off the unemployment. He done cut off the stimuli. Now you got to get up and give it a try. Now you got to get up and try to figure out what to do. You got to do or die because of the stimuli. I'm talking to somebody today. You got to do or die because of the stimuli. The Father says finish the mission. See, what you was on was not a mission, but it was suicide in the devil. But today, whatever God told you was going to do before COVID came, whatever God told you else you was going to do before mama told you couldn't do it, whatever, whatever God told you to do when your friend said that, 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 that you couldn't do it, whatever dream that you forgot about, whatever vision did not come, Pick it up today and finish the mission. If God told you you was going to get that, it's now time to go and get that. The word of God said the wealth of the wicked is going up for the righteous. So while the wicked is sleeping, it's time for you to get the ear. Get up, wake up, get up, stand up, wake up, get up. Finish the mission. You can clap. Pause, whatever you want to do. Finish the mission! Psalms 96 and 3. I'm going to break it down for you, but this is prophetic in its intent. It is talking to you. So I'm going to help you all out. If you think I'm talking about you, yes, I am now. I'm talking about all of y'all now. What? You're a man? Oh, well. I'm going to get my dinner and get my steak and keep going. I'm just going to deliver the message. <laughs> See the promise with y'all. Soon as the, soon as the Lord stepped on your toe, you think that they're talking about you. Well, God probably was talking about you. He's just the messenger. Hello. <laughs> so hold on to your seatbelt, strap your belt in. <laughs> Cause I'm talking about you. <laughs> Psalms 96 10. No. One. One through, one through five, actually. Verse one says, Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Oh, let me teach you something that you need to learn from seminary. When you read the word of God, don't read the whole sentence or read the whole paragraph. Break it up in threes because there's a message in it at that point. It's a hidden thing. So the first part says, Sing unto the Lord a new song. Say, so Sing unto the Lord a new song. What God is saying here, he's time to hear the same old song you've been singing. The song, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I don't know where it's going to come from. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, Lord, help me if this is come to come out here, my Lord. Begging and begging, you just begging and begging. Oh, Lord, come get fix my help. Lord, fix my kids. Lord, fix my car. Lord, 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 Lord. All day long, asking him, get a new song, crazy. Lord, I thank you for fixing the kids. Lord, I thank you for fixing the household. Lord, I thank you for hearing her and her and her. Lord, I thank you, God, for the new car. Lord, I thank you for the new house. Lord, I thank you for the increase so I can do no work, no work in no way. Lord, I thank you, God. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, God. Philly. 
found in a buy. Three thousand dollars. I went on an empty tank. Got the money I was praying. I was like, thank you, Lord. You heard my prayer. Gave me three thousand. They came up and said, look, we're going to give you three thousand dollars in offering. Oh, praise the Lord. I was so happy. So they told me to give it to the, the young man that was in the front. And I ain't had no gas. And I tried to be slick like y'all do. I'm going to talk about me. Now I'm talking about me. I gave him 1500 I kept, I said, I gave him half. Shoot. I had no gas. The devil's a lie. Ain't no way my father will tell me to give up all the money and I, I don't got no gas in North Philly with a whole lot of equipment with a shiny suit on. I'm asking for trouble. But he did. How many times have God told you to give him all? You only gave a little bit. Come on, yes. Singing that same old song. Well, that's, that's the devil. He ain't going to tell me to do that. He did tell you to do that. When the last time you got up in the morning and said, God, I bless your name today, Lord. That's why I'm saying bless his name. Well, I bless your name, oh Lord, that you will be blessed in yourself, but not by yourself, Lord. For it is your will and your way that I live for every day, Lord, and I worship you today. You get up, baby. Lord, you know I got to go to this job. Lord, you know the kids are acting up. Yo, boo was acting crazy today. Lord, sing unto the Lord a new song. Start waking up and worshiping him and worship until you can't worship no more. Go outside of your house and see your neighbor and worship for them too. My God, get in the car and worship for them too. Go into your job and worship for them too. Instead of screaming at your kid, worship with your kid. Oh my God. Next time you want to argue, why don't you put on the worship music and start worshiping? No, you don't want to do that. You want to be up there. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for him. He acting up. I'm going to pray for her. When you, where's the worship? Sing a new song. Father's tired of hearing your same old song of defeat. He wants to hear the sound of victory coming out your mouth. He wants to hear the sound of faith coming out your mouth. My God, he wants to hear the sound of the anointing coming out your mouth. He wants to hear the sound of the Holy Spirit coming out your mouth. He wants to hear the sound of victory coming out your mouth. Stop sitting around and complaining all the time. Stop sitting around and being miserable all the time. You say, enter his words for Thanksgiving. Get up with a Thanksgiving in your spirit. When you get up with a thank God for the word and every drop that's in it. My God, thank God for every bitty, every little teeny, we wee little thing. That if you can't think of about that, think to the microscopic of the microscopic. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. See, that's the problem. See, God don't want 99 and a half one do. He wants all the earth. And if he wants all the earth, he wants all of you. Why do you think you can just give him the scraps? Father is tired of your leftovers. Uh-oh. Quiet in here. I got any security in this place? Everybody looking real strange at me right now. I'm getting paranoid. <laughs> Not. So, here it is. A new song, Sing Unto the Lord. Have you been singing unto the Lord? Or watch this. What Lord have you been singing to? Ooh, spooky. Do you, have you been singing unto the Lord of your children, trying to please them? Have you been singing unto the Lord of your job? Have you been singing unto the Lord of your girlfriend? You don't understand that. Have you been singing unto the Lord to mama? Why are you singing unto the Lord to mama about your business and mama ain't doing no better? Let me leave the building. Why are you singing to your friends that ain't doing no better? Why are you why 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 are you singing and, 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 and worshiping people? Why are you worshiping your kids? You wonder why they're acting crazy. 
Why are you worshiping your husband? Wonder why you're going crazy. Why are you worshiping your wife? And wonder why you're going crazy. Why are you worshiping your car? And wonder why I keep breaking down. Why are you worshiping the job? And that's why you still the janitor, the scrub, and the cracks in the floor. Why, my God? Why are you worshiping what the people got to say? Who cares what they got to say? You be up there, back. They got they, they got my name all up in their mouth, all up in my mouth, all up in their mouth. They talking about me so. And, hello, talking to somebody. Why are you, because that's a sign, that's a, that's worship, because you are giving your attention, your all to something that's insignificant, that don't even matter. If you could just put Jesus in your mouth, yes. maybe they put Jesus in their mouth too. But since y'all all, all want to eat from the fruits of the devil, that's why it's all up in your mouth. All right. Talking to somebody, he says, all the earth. The earth does not represent flesh. It represents the prosperity thereof. When are you going to start losing the prosperity thereof across all the earth? Where is all the earth? Somebody, where is all the earth? All the earth is everything that you set your foot on. So when you come into a place, are you bringing the song of Zion? Are you, my God, my God, are you singing the song of worship or the song of praise like you did today when you came in and you gave the word? Are you entering in, bringing that glory of God into the situation? Are you not worthy to praise God? Sing unto the Lord, bless his name. Bam, there it is. Oh, by the way, if you want to look at what I wrote for a sermon, this is all I got. This is nothing but the word. I don't need no scripted nothing. Hello. So he says, bless his name. Are you blessing his name or cursing his name? We everybody looking real intense. He's like, oh. <laughs> it's all good. Are you blessing his name? So, well, how do you bless his name? When you go there, you you bless his name in service. Why do you go places not bringing the service? My father needs the service. He needs you to come there with honor so that his majesty can show up. Service is a representation, my God. So you honor when you go and serve, when you go and clean the phone off. My God, you say, oh, God is awesome and he's worthy to be praised and he's going to touch your life and he's going to change your life. I may not be a prophet, but I know my father can, will, and is able. Service, what can I do for you? My God, what can I do for you today? My God, what can I do for you today? Hey, 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 what can I do for you today? What can I do for you today? Is there something I can do for you today? Hey, 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 hey! What can I do for you today? Hey, can I get a dime so I get a hug? Hey! What's going on? When are you going to start blessing his name and start cursing his name? Because every time you come up against one another, you are cursing his name. Because everything in this world belongs to him. And when he allows you to be in the presence of what belongs to him, you should be looking to see how you can serve to bless his name. Because the only way you're going to be able to see he exists is through you. And it doesn't matter if you're the pastor or just a regular everyday Joe. Because a pastor is just a regular everyday Joe that's going to take care and give the message. But you can give the message too that Jesus is Lord. You can give the message that God is almighty. You can give the message that God you can give the message that there's nothing too great for my Lord. You can give the message that there's healing and deliverance. You can give the message that something greater than I. My God, you can give the message. You can give, you can give the message that you're not alone. You can give the message. You can give the message that my God, my God, my God, the pressure can't hold you. You can give the message that the pressure can't hold you. You can give the message that addiction can't hold you. You can give the message. You can give the message. 
morning today. Every time you go somewhere, see how you can bless his name by serving for him. And not somebody you know either that's still serving you. Lord, help me, Jesus. Holy Spirit. He says, show forth his salvation from day to day. You're going to sow some salvation and you're, and you're complaining. How you going to sow salvation when your face looks like a turned up, burnt up living? <laughs> Young man, come in. I walk by. All this glory. Yes. Whatever. Heathen. Welcome to the sanctuary. Really? No. You come on. Look, young king. It's good that you came to the house. Well, I'm glad to see you. Come on, put it in there, put it in. Yes. See, that's how it's going. That you, you may think that's a small thing, but that's a big thing. Because I'm letting him know that he's worthy, I'm worthy, we worthy together.
talk about you anointed and appointed. And why was you hiding in the house? Why are you still hiding out? Why is your sanctuary open? My father said, do your mission and open your sanctuary now. Salvation. How do you expect your kids to follow you if you ain't showing real salvation? How do you expect your family to follow you if you ain't really showing real salvation? How do you expect the community to know you if you ain't showing salvation? Just because they got a sour face next door, do you got to keep letting them be that way? Saved? Aren't they worthy to be saved? So they could come out your door and look like they what you do, just jump in your car and roll? Or you say, I'm going to pray they strength in the Lord. How about you do something? How about you say, listen, I don't know what's going on with you, but listen, we're neighbors. Listen, I love y'all next door. Listen, wherever I can serve you, I'm here. When the last time you did that? You don't. Oh, Holy Ghost filled people. You got so much Holy Ghost, but you can't even start your own neighborhood. If you're on the job, you can be saved on the job. People is miserable. Why you got to join the misery party? Why can't you bring the noise for my Lord? Amen. Finish the mission. If he got you there, there's a mission. If he got you living there, there's a mission. If he gave you a family, there's a mission. Everybody that God put in your life is your mission. Now finish your mission. When you going to stop not that door of the mission and worry about your condition? Your condition ain't got nothing to do with the mission. So forth is salvation from day to day. Salvation is not something you pick up, put down, or pick up on Sunday. As far as me, what you see now, you won't see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's it. No matter where I go, I'm not putting on two different faces. Today I'm apostle. Hello. God bless you. Put on a collar and look real sanctified. God bless you. Yes. God bless you, sir. Joe, watch what God do if they don't. He 
He said, you think COVID is something you ain't seen nothing yet. Listen. Declare his glory among the heathen. Oh, this is deep. I'm saying something before the next verse. And the next verse just prove what I just said. <laughs> Declare his glory among the heathen. Are you declaring his glory? What you doing? Or are you declaring his, his failure? Oh, but God don't fail. So what, what Lord are you... Oh. Since God don't fail, that means you should be able to declare his glory. But if you're not declaring his glory, that meant you obviously thought you failed. So if you thought you failed, then, hey, what Lord was you serving? We're so quiet in here. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You can praise them. Because if you was ignorant of our learned today, now you got the information. You should praise God for that. Don't worry, it's all right. <laughs> I love days like this. So, declare his glory among the heathen. Now, there's a commandment on you. You got to start today, start going out there and declaring his glory among the heathen. And you might say, well, how could I do that? I'm going to tell you how. Say how. Yeah. That impossible thing you're commanded to do it right now. Uh-oh. Everybody looking like, what you mean, Pastor? What you talking about? That impossible thing that you think or thought you could not do, that thing that you got in your mouth that you said that you wanted to do, that thing that you put down because you couldn't do it, my God, when they told you what it's going to be, right now it's all up in your mouth. It's all up in your mouth. And now you got to produce it. Declare the glory among the heathen now. You got to produce it in front of your enemies. You got to pro pro produce it to defy the devil. Right now. Who that big and back? Do I got any praise? Who's that big and back? Who that big and back? That you want to stand out. Happen. 
You can't be the worst off the way at right Come on! What do you really want? And don't be shy, don't be fake, but I don't want to seem like I'm being extra. Be extra for God, he wants extra. He's tired of the world showing that they got it, and it's still his. Beyonce, all she doing ain't hers, it was God. She just running around with God stuff. Where's our God, Beyonce said? Hold on, where you at? What you waiting on? Where's our God, Bill Gates at? And he got Bill Gates in here today, where you at? Down, 
know it makes your car go really fast. I'm riding down the turnpike. Wow! Going past the troopers and everything. Car on fire. Gets up out of there. Call me a cab. But what changed everything? My daughter can bear witnesses. I had a friend. His name was Cato. Cato did some pretty bad stuff. And I had to put in some stuff to him. No real drugs. He hunted people. Dirt cheap. I harassed him. One day he looked at me. We rented out the feather. You know the feather that Sam ended up all the roads. Ended all of them out. Had everybody out there. Went down to South Street, grabbed up everybody. Whatever you want, it was all there. We sitting on the rock. It's still there right now. He looked at me and he said, yo, bro, this is good, right? I'm like, yeah, this is good. He said, but you know what? I said, what? He said, you're going to get you, you're going to get your daughter, you're going to go off the road. I'm still here. So I turned around and I started the business called Jay Law Recoveries so that we could go out and do the right thing. Two days after that, it happened. Because I did not finish the mission. God called me to lead people to success. But in my ghetto superstarness, I was one of my own success. This is your problem. I had my own mission. It wasn't God's mission. So I couldn't I raised them and the, the, my daughter right here. I had four kids I raised by myself. Being a ghetto superstar. But thank God I showed my daughter enough that she's sitting right there with my grand sitting right over there. See, 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 see. Now I started doing the mission. So I paid the dues so you don't have to. Now I'm going to tell you again. If you want to stop being broke, and broken and jacked up. You better start doing a mission for God. Because the minute I started doing the mission, I was able to say, I don't care about this money. I don't care. I don't care about this money. I don't care about none of this stuff. I don't care about none of this John. I had to I had to kill John John. You need to kill yourself. I had to kill that joker. I couldn't stand that boy. I took John John. Shut up. You got right now in your seat. Kill you now and sing a new song. You got to, you listen. You got to kill you right now so you can finish the mission. I promise you, I'm telling you for what you can see. If you kill you right now, make sure you good and dead. Don't let you talk to you not no more. All the trouble that you've been in, all the things that went wrong, it's because of you talking to you. It wasn't the devil. so great that the devil got to come after you. You parted some red seas, what you do? You did a whole lot of healing all over the place? Sometimes we're delusional. If you, the devil's only coming after you when you're not around anymore. <laughs> He's only coming after you when you're not around anymore. The only thing that's coming after you and been coming after you for however many years you are is you. So be mad at you. Start telling you to shut up. You need to get in the mission. Start getting your instruction on what you need to do. I saw you. Oh, you don't want to hear this. Oh, I got some jaws tight. I'm sorry. We know I'm not. Because I talk about me first. See, I had to get rid of me. Because we had other ideas. Me had to be, me seeing me on a boat in the ocean with a phone telling people what to do. That's what me wanted to do. And God said, no, I gave you the boat. You stood. God gave me three boats, and then I couldn't even enjoy it. As a sense of humor. God has a sense of humor. He will give you what you think you want. You get it, you be like, oh, man, I thought this was something. This ain't nothing. 
How many of y'all been there? Come on, you can get a break. You can just be real. Y'all saying that kind of bad, they're like, yeah, because you still want it. But now, you still want it. But I'm going to tell you why you don't want it. I'm closing. For the Lord is great. The Lord is so great. He is beyond anything you can ever imagine for real. See, I'm not going to tell you something that I don't know because I experience it. See, God is so great that he will take a wretch like you and turn you into something magnificent. He'll take a wretch like you and put you in front of the whole world. He'll take a wretch like you and give you a TV network and a TV station. He'll take a wretch like you and take you off a job and you still got a six-figure income. And ain't the world ain't got nothing to do with it. My God, he, he'll take, my God, he will take you. He will take you from your desolate situation and prosperity is everywhere you go. Everything you touch, everybody you breathe on, every, every, everything. My God, he'll give you, my God, he'll, he'll so great. He'll take the taste out of your mouth for things and he'll give you a taste for serving and give you a taste for giving and give you a taste for doing. My God, he, my God, he'll take, he'll take and turn into the war for him instead of war against each other. My God, my God, it's why he is so great. He can build a family in the middle of the desert. He is so great, he can take a whole bunch of misfits and turn into some one of the greatest armies that ever been created. Oh, you don't know. For the Lord is great. And because he's great, and greatly to be praised, he is to be feared above all gods. So right here is telling you, people say there is no other gods. That's a lie. There's all kinds of gods out here. But the biggest God that you have is you. Don't keep telling my father that you serve him when you're still in you. You're your God because you listen to you and you alone. Nobody can tell you nothing. You know it all. But a, but a person in God says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways not your ways. That means you don't know nothing. I'm telling you, without my father, I'm throwing in a box of rocks. Cracker Jack's got more sense than I got. But because I know that John is dead, my spirit is open to hear from him. And it don't always line up. Matter of fact, it never lines up with what I want. Or even what I need. It's what he wants and what he needs. Now, if you really are willing to give him what he wants and what he needs, then there's no other gods. But if you still got what you want, what you want and what you need, then you still got a God. And you need to deal with that thing. Because it is going to prohibit you from getting what you, what you, you make. God will let you get what you want, but you'll never get what you need. Greatly to be praised. Do you have a great praise for him today? Or you need some special music or something? Can you get past your God to go to school night and praise God right now without a whole bunch? Can you get past your God to go to Can you get past your God to go and, and, and give him the praise of do without the music and all? Can you get my God? Can you get out of your stuff and open your mouth and say, Hallelujah, glory to God. Yeah. Oh. 
upon me. He says, seal. So why is it sealed? Because it has a praise that comes out the mouth. Get past your God right now. Give him a real praise out of your mouth. Scream like you lost your mind. See, that my son was wrong with her. She had a praise in her spirit. She had to scream out of you. Thank you. 
And what did he do? He could be BBW for God and a skinny mini for God too. And you all look good and it's going to be great. But as long as you keep trying to please the world, you trying to look good for the world, I don't care nothing about none of them. Never. And what's the worst you going to do? Take the tithe and offering? I don't get nothing from you. So go, huh? No, 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 no. See, you got to get yourself positioned in God when you, what they say don't matter anyway. I never stop to think about why you listen to them in the first place. Why do you listen to them in the first place? Why do you keep listening to these people? Who cares what they say? They paying your bills? What they did was something wrong? My God, you was going through, was they going through with you? Did they have something positive to do for you? But I know somebody who did. Capital yeah. Jeep's the ultimate yeah. did. So you should be concerned about him and not them. Closing scripture, verse 5. Just the music.
made the heavens. He says, listen, the heavens is not a place made of punishment. I can tell you for sure. Because when I went to ATL, I died. I died right there. Stop breathing everything. I watched my wife talking to me and I'm laying in the bed. But when I went there, there was gates. There was armor. Armor for every person. The new spirits of the new better you who was there. This is the third time of all the time I died. I did a coma. Seven days. Out of here. I see my don't believe the idol of what it's telling you. Father would just want you to let that God go right now. He wants you to get out of that thing and get into it. He wants you to get out of it. Get out of worrying about you. Get out of worrying about what you're going through. Get out, my God. Get out of what, what, what the things that's controlling you. Get, get out of it. Oh, you might, you might like to smoke cigarettes. Don't worry about it. Keep it moving. The name of Jesus. My God, you might have anger problems. Don't worry about it. Keep it moving. In the name of Jesus. My God, you might have a foul mouth. Don't worry about it. Keep going in the name of Jesus. My God, you might think you're too fat. And that's why you can't get that. Keep going in the name of Jesus. My God, you may think you're broke. My God, you must think there's no hope. In the name of Jesus. Keep going through. Keep moving and the God move you. My God, let God take you to another place. Another time. Another position. Move your nation. Birth your nation.
willing to give. When all else fails, you feel weak, you feel alone, or you feel like you're going through, strength and beauty are in his sunshine. Thank you. 